there's a transit company that's uh, putting in a transit line for Seattle. It's called Sound Transit. And they've commissioned me to do this sculpture. I guess they went through about a, 600 artists. And um, where, this is, where the sculpture is going to be, there's going to be 13 stops along a train line. And in each plaza, they're, they're going to have a sculpture. So they chose 13 artists out of the 600 that applied. And just, they looked at, through a series of slides of artists, and then they narrowed it down. And I was one of the 13. Well, I had to go out to Seattle and look at the spot where the sculpture is going to go. And so I drove around in a car and looked at the neighborhood. And there's a lot of little bungalows and people have little gardens behind their homes. And people were, were really into gardening. And so I got the idea to do plants. And part of what I do, the kind of sculptures that I do, are usually um, everyday objects. And so I thought about, OK, what everyday object could I do that relates to gardening? And I thought about a shovel, a giant shovel. And then I thought, OK, well, the shovel could be made out of plants. And I thought, oh, God, that would be beautiful. It would be a gorgeous thing to have, you know, uh, plants that made up a shovel. And then I did a little maquette of it. Well, a maquette is a little tiny little sculpture that is a little miniature replica of the large-scale sculpture. Then they approved the maquette, and then um, I was approved to do this large-scale sculpture. The sculpture is called Global Garden Shovel, and it reflects plants from all over the globe. The sculpture is about conservation of the world's most precious commodity, which is the plants and trees and flowers that all sustain us. We depend on plants to eat. We depend on them for our oxygen. We depend on them for a lot of things. So it's an environmental sculpture, but it also reflects the ethnic diversity of our world, but also of the Rainier Valley in Seattle, where the sculpture is going. It's going along Martin Luther King Drive, and it's a very ethnically diverse area with people from Africa, Korea, other Asian countries, um, Polynesia, South America, European um, groups are there too. I thought that plants from different parts of the world could reflect the ethnic diversity. I think people have various levels of understanding about art and for people that don't know a lot about art, I think they'll, they can really get into this too because it'll be something they can recognize something they know. It'll be objects that they can identify with, the plants and trees and flowers that they see every day. And um, yet, it's also a shovel. And so I think various people of different levels of understanding about art, I think, will be able to relate to it.